I'm Lucy. I'm a higher laboratory scientist apprentice at the Sanger Institute, and that involves me doing cell biology work for four days a week, and then one day a week I'm studying for a degree in applied bioscience. Our lab will take a sample of patient tissue from someone who has had a type of cancer, break apart all of the cells and allow them to be at the point where they can then reform into an organoid. So this is a 3D cluster of cells that will self-assemble in a micro scale and we can then do things like drug screens on that to see if a patient responds to treatment. My job is to take frozen vials of organoid cells. These are stored in liquid nitrogen then to thaw them and to culture them for about four to five weeks to make sure that they are growing, that these organoids are assembling as we would expect, and to make sure that they are viable cells that we can then submit to a biobank. My day tends to vary quite a lot depending on what my cells want from me. So some days might be really busy if I need to split up my cells a lot to encourage them to grow. Other days I might simply be giving them more um, media, which is their kind of feeding solution. Um, and other days I might be setting up some imaging experiments. So it can be very different every day. I work within a team of cell biologists. Um, so I will be liaising with them on a daily basis to manage work and to kind of discuss our lines and if there's anything that looks a bit unusual, we can then have a troubleshooting session. I didn't plan to be a scientist when I was in school. My interests were more in the art subjects. I really enjoyed the sciences, but I could never have seen myself as a scientist. I went to university initially and studied history. I really loved the subject, but I was also a very curious person and my university had an open access policy for lectures. So I started sneaking into some of the biology lectures and I became absolutely astounded by what I was hearing. It was fascinating to hear people explaining the natural world and how it all functions. And I'd often leave with so many questions. I'd be asking my friends, I'd be going on Wikipedia. And I realized that that wasn't enough to sate my curiosity, that I needed to explore this further. So I decided that I needed to finish my history degree and then make that career change into science. In my career, I would hope to um, finish off my applied biosciences degree, become a fully kind of qualified scientist, um, and then maybe look at doing future studies, so a master's or a PhD, to kind of gain experience of managing my own project. When I was in school, I used to think that you had to be a genius to be a scientist, that the roots were very much closed off to the majority of people. And the reality is that you don't need to be a genius. You just need to be someone who's incredibly curious. There are so many different jobs and so many different ways of entering the field. No one follows the same route. Everyone follows a different journey into science.